Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's lifestyle channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, I upload five times a week. I um, also um, there's a, a link down below um, if uh, you want to um, know about, about more about joining my uh, travel channel memberships and uh, they go from just 99 pence per month and um, also the sub uh, free subscription uh, button is um, red and white and um, also click the notification bell so you never miss a um, upload and um, hi my name is Rebecca today in the UK and um, it was very sunny and um, really early in the morning when I uh, got uh, got up basically it did look cloudy and it did look like it was going to rain but it, it didn't in the end and um, it was uh, really nice and sunny and um, again warm today as well so uh, which is really good and um, especially if you're on a day off day trip or going on holiday in the U UK um, or you are holiday in in the Midlands um, and then again it's great weather um, so today I'm going to be doing Travel News UK 5 exciting facts August 2021 uh, part one so uh, kicking off with um, number one which is Sky News at uh, Covid News Live who asked the UK not uh, to give booster jabs in September who is advising the UK um, as uh, European hotels are turning down Britons, unfortunately. Um, moving on uh, to number two, Amber Status Plus list. Why were extra travel restrictions imposed on France? Uh, travel Transport Sec Secretary Grant Shapps told the BBC News that it was not about the island reunion um which is a long long way away from france and um it was actually um the better variants uh, that they were picking up from france that's why they put it france um on the amber plus list so you will have to quarantine if you're traveling t um to France number three um, um after you come back in the UK number three um Sean Calder's expert travel advice ahead of the next traffic light review the road from France becomes clearer in the next few days. So that's um, good news. So, I mean, it might go back from the Amber Plus to just the Amber list. Number four, Spain to avoid the red list and up to 15 countries uh, could go on the green list, um, including Poland and Germany and um, they could be added uh, to the green list from tomorrow so um, any people that have booked holidays to those countries um, will not um, have to quarantine and um, up to now um, it looks like that's if they go on the green list um, if they're still amber then they won't need to quarantine either on your way back but the amber plus at least you will still 
have to quarantine um, when you get back into the UK. And last but not least, iNews, UK traveller face £6 charge to enter Europe next year under new post-Brexit EU rules. The changes will affect non EU citizens that uh, do not need a visa to uh, travel uh, to the block. So again, Europe is uh, becoming more expensive um, again for, uh, from next year to travel to. Um, so again, uh, you can see more people holidaying in this country or holiday in further field um or non or holiday in in non-eu countries so i would like to say um thank you for watching and bye for now thank you bye